Okay, one of the stranger things in Sticky Scales they put on there, but he's like, oh my gosh, do you see the difference there? What's happening, Fusion friends? Welcome to another episode. Today we've got a good old fashioned unboxing. We're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna get right into it because I've got some kind of weird stuff, some cool stuff, and some stuff that I don't even know. You have to decide. First up, some new colors in the Yum Lizards. Six inch lizards, man, they are perfect post-spawn fishing. For whatever reason, throwing these around the shallows post-spawn, I always get bites. I know, you know, people think Carolina rigging a lizard or, you know, on bed fishing and stuff, but, you know, kind of in the end of, of spawn, post-spawn, for me, these always seem to crush. This is the new GB Haze color. My favorite out of the bunch, watermelon pearl laminate. So that watermelon up top, pearl on the belly looks very natural. This is that mud fleck color. If you watch my video of me fishing that Helgramite, this was the exact color. This is a good color around here in the Midwest and some dirty water. Some good old June bug red flake lizards. Dirt purple, this color is kind of a sleeper. On the back of it, you've got this dark color with these green and like purple flakes throughout it. Belly is kind of just like a green pumpkinish brown. Overall neat color, good dark. Again, very natural color. Then last up, some pumpkin groove. This is like a watermelon orange flake. Pretty neat. And of course, I'll leave all these linked below. The uh, the lizards, the yum stuff is all over at LureNet. I'll leave my code below so you can get 15% uh, off. Everything else is over at Tackle Warehouse. Like this Flambo, the thin uh, terminal tackle holder. So you can see up on the top, it's got containers. And I already put all the little dividers in here, but it's got little containers that you can take out. You can move these uh, pieces of the divider. So they're either two really big slots or you can put them into three like I've got. The middle has four kind of medium sized and the bottom row has three eight of these different little small deals that you could take out if you wanted to make some room. Then at the very bottom, you open this up and it's like a little open container thing with the lid. So in case you want to have hooks or anything like that, small, that you didn't want to fall out, you can close this lid. With I wouldn't say it's like the most sturdy feeling deal out there. It kind of reminds me of those Busby ones. I've seen uh, the Burley guys go over that, Jeff and Paul, but this, I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't say it's like super sturdy, but I do like how these can, you know, come out. You can mix them around, move it around. We'll give it a try. I like that it had like little, you know, pieces here that you can, you know, change, switch stuff around, move stuff out. It'd be good for a day box, I think, because you've got all these different deals, but we'll see. And I do like the way it all latches and it's got that seal. It's got that blue seal around it to keep it all waterproof. Okay, one of the stranger things in the box from G-Rat, the fighting fish. Now I'll admit, I wasn't even gonna grab one of these. My buddy Matt sent me a picture and said, have you seen these, you gonna pick up one? I'm like, no, I don't even know what those are. I ended up picking up a couple just cause they're so crazy. It's got this massive skirt in back that has, I don't know how many strands of like jig skirting. It's got a big old hook on the inside of, I think it's a four out it says. This is where it gets interesting. Four inches overall, three quarter ounce, but the front of it is this big head. This is like the size of a 1.0 little square bill with a lip on it. So it's like this lipped, skirted, they call it a fighting fish. I think it's gonna mimic a bluegill pretty well up in the shallows. Honestly, don't know how deep it's gonna dive. It's got your split ring there, if we can focus. That's where you tie it onto. And that's the deal. One of the craziest uh, things I've seen in a minute, how well will it work, I have no flipping clue, but we're gonna give it a try and see how the old fighting fish does. This color was called Superbug. Reminds me of a, a Superbug color I like. This one they call Pearl Shad, but I got it to mimic crappie in some of my crappie lakes. Uh, how well will it do? Like I said, I have no idea, but it's an interesting new take on, uh, on a crankbait skirted single hook lure thing. All right, y'all know I'm a fan of the Six Sense Provoke Jerkbait. In fact, you're gonna see a video soon of me uh, catching some fish in a local lake on the regular. These are silent. That's just the Silent. This color is called Shad Dawn. I really like how uh, Six Sense has those like sticky scales they put on there. Really gives off that holographic flash. But they're a silent jerk bait. And I got kind of the clearer colors because I'm thinking for those more pressured, really, really clear waters. Uh, I'm hoping a little silent jerk bait like this will kind of give me the edge. I don't fish a silent jerk bait enough. Uh, so we're going to give those a try. Hooks are good and sharp on them. That's the Morning Dawn flash that I got. Kind of a silvery morning dawn bait fish look. I only grabbed two, they're kind of pricey, I think like 12, 13 bucks something. Okay, let's get into a couple of the Strike King plastics. New for this year, the Scound Bug. Now this is like a mix between a Rage Bug and uh, like a, almost like a Zoom Ultra Vibe Speed Craw. This is the Oak Choby Craw color. They're three and a half inches. You can see on the top, it's got that like green pumpkinish. The bottom has that, you know, sapphire blue pearl. It's got the two claws back here. You break it apart and you can see it's a, a longer, slender, you know, narrow type craw, more like that, that speed craw type look to it, but it's still got those rage, flip it around there for you, it's still got those rage flappers on the end with those little, you know, kind of uh, cupped claws there on it. 
Really cool looking deal. Uh, I think on the back of a jig, you could you could probably do a bunch with this swim jig trailer. Um, I do like it a lot. This was one from iCast that I did really want to try. I also picked up the June Bug, which is that dark, deep purple in the Rage Craw color, and just some black and blue flake. Okay, you got a hint of these the other night on the live, the new filler worm. So this is like a machine assist pour, I think is what they call it. Oh, they call it the open pour technology, but it's very similar to like a robo worm, that laminated worm type look. Six inches long, this one they call the fire crawler, and you can see there that look that I mean, it's got that deeper red up top, it's got like a black line through it, and then the orange on the bottom. So they can layer these worms that looks more like a custom, you know, hand poured, layered worm laminate. I think they have like machines that help do it. Now that's the machine assist pour or whatever. But that's what they look like, a little six inch worm. I'm thinking some drop shot because you all know how much I love drop shotting. You do get 10 to a pack and mm, it's that awesome coffee smell. I also got three packs of these. These are the Tequila Sunrise. Dad took two, uh, he left me with one, but he's like, oh my gosh, those look sweet. I wanna try them. He's not a big drop shot guy either. So we're hopefully gonna get out and do some drop shotting uh, and catch some. This color is interesting, they call it lightning bug. It's like a June bug with the green flake up top, like a chartreuse line in the middle. I don't know how well you can see that. And then at the bottom it's got like a dark purple. A very neat color, I am digging that one, like a bluegilly dark stained water, mm-hmm. This one they call dizzleberry, or I'm, excuse me, D dingleberry. It's got like a brown with a pinkish red flake, blue in the middle and then like a tannish on the bottom. Interesting kind of night crawler look. And then my personal favorite out of all these, hopefully my old man doesn't hear me saying it, but this, Blackberry Jam. This one I actually took it out, was testing it in the water the other day, and oh my gosh, it's got this like dark, I'm gonna say it's like a black with all this purple flake up inside of it. No idea how well this is showing on camera. Hopefully it's doing it justice. And then the bottom is this purple, and when you get it in the light, it's got this like purpley, black, glowish hue to it. It's a, it's a really neat looking color. I like it a lot. And then to go with those, I grabbed some of these uh, little rebarb robo worm hooks that I can rig the worm weedless. It's like, you know, your regular J style flipping hook where the plastic goes up on top. This little plastic piece um, holds your plastic worm on, then you rig it, you know, like a Texas rigged worm weedless in there. Because listen, the reason I hate fishing a drop shot from the bank is you cast it out there, it's got the weight, it's got this, I'm always getting hung up. Then I break off, have to tie a new leader, get my hook situated. It's just a pain in the butt to fish from the bank, right? So maybe with this where I'm getting snagged up less, I'll have better luck. I know the drop shot works, I just hate to fish it. Now back to striking, they did come out with a couple of the gold blade thunder crickets. I grabbed a couple half ounce. I've gone to the half ounce a little bit more on these. This is the sexy shad with that gold blade. Then I grabbed a bluegill gold blade. Bluegill post spawn, either a spinner bait or a chatter bait, absolutely crushes. If you haven't mm -hmm. tried it, post spawn specifically in places where you've got bluegill, absolutely crush. I also grabbed one of these, definitely more pricey. Uh, these are the Strike King Tungsten Tour Grade Thunder Cricket. Can you see the difference there? This is the bruiser color. I really like this one, like a green pumpkin flake mixed with black and blue. But just to show you there, this is also a half ounce. Those are both half ounce Thunder Crickets. Can you see the head difference there, the size? Look at that, half ounce regular, half ounce tungsten insane difference on them. Um, I like the Thunder Cricket. I feel like it's a little bit more finesse. I feel like people kind of talk down on these, oh, jackhammer's the only way to go, but um, I have had really good luck with the Thunder Cricket. Like I said, a little bit more of a finesse type bump to it, I guess, uh, is what you call it. But I definitely like it. If you've never tried them, uh, give it a go. Oh, and there's a closer look at that bluegill. Mm. I wanted to try some larger paddle tail swim baits this year. Um, you know, everybody talks about like the mag draft. I saw these, they're new to come out. I haven't seen anybody fish them. And I thought, listen, either for pike or maybe even some uh, insanely crazy largemouth bass that would hit this. This is the blue back herring color. They're six and a half inches and weigh two and a half ounces. And I tell you what, they are a thick little bait. Good looking bait. I mean, I really like the profile and look of it. It's got this club type tail back here. It's got just these little like indentation cuts on it. I want something that I can slow roll from the bank. It's a little bit different because when you're slow rolling with a belly hook, you tend to get hung up, but it's got a very strong magnet there. You can see that helps keep that up on it. Holding like that with your hook uh, and slow roll this around. I like the looks. Maybe I can catch some pike because big bass on swim baits are, are not my deal. I also got the olive shad color, which is just a cool kind of translucent looking deal. This one's kind of trippy, Wakasagi. It's got this like blue pearl flash on the bottom with like some green holographic stuff mixed in. The front of it's like that green, I don't know. 
This reminded me of like a bluegill or like a pumpkin seed kind of type look. I don't know, looks neat. I'm gonna have to take this out and do a swim baits only from like a two inch swim bait up to like a six, seven, eight, ten inch swim bait or something and see if I can catch fish on all of them. And if I can't just give them away because yeah, somebody else can try. Okay, these are not new. I've talked about them before. Bass Geek actually turned me on to these. Um, I am not a huge A-Rig guy, but bend all of these out. I am a finesse A-Rig guy. Oh, I should say more comfortable with it. I still think I've only caught one fish on an A-Rig in my total career. I hardly ever throw them, but the huge, you know, big, huge chandelier type things, I don't have any confidence in those. These though, Bass Geek's like, get some of these. He's like, you love fishing a spinnerbait. Just pretend this is like a little bit different looking spinnerbait and go after it. Now, of course you have to uh, pay attention to your local laws. I can only have two hooks here in Iowa, which is lame, but I'm going to make it like this longer one and then one on the bottom and have these other three up top. So these just have dummies on it. These will be the two with hooks. Hopefully that's what they hit, but you can see this whole thing is just a little small kind of finesse A-Rig. So going to give these a try. I got a couple. Hopefully I don't snag them on the first cast. This is the five and a half inch Slinko. You get seven in the pack here and they remind me of like a large oversized, you know, one of those like Hags tornado type deals, you know, that ring fry type look to it, but in a much larger profile stick bait, you know, wacky rigging for some big bass, Texas reg this, use it as your, you know, your follow up bait. It's definitely got that bulk added to it, but you can see the actual body piece inside is pretty small. They add those ribs and it makes it look a bunch bulkier. So these are pretty cool, very soft. Um, we'll see how they're, are they salted? Says get salty, so I'm assuming they will uh, sink like a regular Yamamoto bait. I don't know, I don't want to rip it up, but that's a cool one. What color is this? Mowed grass, kind of that sprayed grass look, that green pumpkin-y watermelon with like the purple and green flake. I also grabbed some cinnamon black purple flakes, so it's like that, you know, the brown pumpkin look with purple black flake. And then electric shad, kind of reminds me of that, uh, gosh, what is it, in the uh, the Z-Man, the deal, I think it's the deal color, right? Darker top, that kind of electric pearly belly. Then I also grabbed a couple packs of these. I always call these cut tail worms. That's what me and dad always called them. They call it the seven inch speed Senko. You can see the back here has the tail like this. You break that tail apart and it's got the tail here that you can swim. Great finesse bait to, you know, swim around when the bite's kind of tough. This is, they call it gooseberry laminate. And you better bet your shorts. I'm going to buy some of these, that purplish bottom. The top is like a, a dark, dark June bug with like a greenish red flake to it. Look absolutely awesome in some kind of stained water. I bet this is going to crush. If you've never tried swimming around a speed worm or just flipping and pitching this around some wood, they are awesome, especially when the uh, the weather starts to warm up here. Okay, a couple things left. I grabbed some more of these chunky D trailers. Only had a couple packs uh, from Missile Baits. This is that super bug color that I was talking about before. Love that, like a black and blue, green pumpkin kind of laminate mix. Now new. What do you think of these? These are a different looking paddle tail frog trailer. This is the four inch zoom uni toad trailer. There's what? Five to a pack and this is the sun gale color. It's got that, you know, horny toad look up top, the big large toad profile, but the back is just a paddle tail. So I'm thinking of running these on some buzz baits. You can see it's also got a fork in the back of it here. If you want to put like a frog hook into it, the belly slid open for, you know, like your hook slot to go up in there. Interesting little bait. Love that sungill color, man, for the ponds around here. I mm. also got your staple colors, straight up black, and then just your uh, bright white. All right, fishing friends, comment below and do me a favor. What do you want to see most out of all this? Maybe some large swim bait stuff? Little speed worm or some of that slinko? Maybe this crazy looking fighting fish? I'm hella excited for some top water, so I really want to throw these on the back of a buzz bait, see what we can catch. Today's subscribe fish and friend is Basil's Chap. Thank you so much for the email the other day. Made my day reading that, uh, uh, some stuff I was going through. He, he commented and said, keep my head up, keep going. I appreciate everybody else that keeps supporting me. You know, I still work a full-time job, do all this stuff. Trying to do this on the side gets a little chaotic. So uh, I appreciate everybody who reached out and is still supporting me. Um, let me know which one of these you want to see in action soon. I just want to get out and fish more. Um, that's it. So I have to say, I need to edit. Thank you all for watching. Until next time.